I noticed that the curator advisor with Watson got a new version version 1.12 and I was drawn upon this new search capability because I always wanted to have the capability to say Watson what do you know about this indicator of compromise right so I tested it out and I really like it very much let me show you what I did to test that out now when you go into the Watson advisor you get this search Watson capability where you can actually put that indicator of compromise and Watson will tell you what it knows about it. For me to test it, I did two things. The first one was actually to go into a thread intelligence feed that I have. And I didn't want to use the IBM one. I wanted to test it with something. Uh, the X4 has something similar. I put a video on on it, uh, on Am I Affected? But uh, this, I'm, I'm using the fishme.com which feeds my uh, some of my reference sets here with uh, thread intelligence data. So let me actually look for that reference set. And here they are. And for example, take the SHA256. Let's go to the most recent data, page 243. And let's take any one in here. Let me actually make this bigger. So I have that. I don't want to delete it. I want to copy it. So it's EDE what it begins with, right? So let me go to that Watson new search feature and paste that here. Okay, and hit enter. Boy, well, that was fast. So I, you know, this validates that uh, Watson is aware of uh, the things that uh, FishMe is aware of. That's actually pretty good. But I was also look you know, call upon this investigate, which does similar things that the Am I Affected does with the IBM X-Force uh, Threat Intelligence, but does it with anyone, which basically is going to do, well, let's, let me go back into your logs and see if I see indications of that specific component. And to do that, I have, I, I already launched an attack that I have recorded in here. Uh, and I'm going to get a hash, it could be a URL, it could be a host name, but I like hashes because there's no false positive with it. Let me actually go into, uh, yeah, this is one from Symantec, and here I have a hash, this is an MD5. So let me actually take this one, Oops, let me grab it completely, let me take it, and actually go back to Watson and paste that one in here. Watson, what do you know about this one? And hit enter. So this time took a little longer, but it came quickly with all this wealth of information. Very good. Now let's use the, and I knew this was actually malicious, but let's actually do an investigate and say, go back into my logs, which I know he's going to find it, and go, I don't need to go further than 24 hours because I launched this uh, today, and search if you find the this uh, indicator in my system. And here we see at the button Watson performing that search. I went in step two of three. Okay, let's wait. Now step three of three, remining local observables. So click again on the Watson tab and found that that investigation on that particular hash completed. And Watson, sure thing, I was expecting to find a bunch of stuff additional that it knows about it that was part of my data and stuff that was in my actually uh, logs and here we have the piece that what additional thing that Watson found and this is additional information that Watson house has about this particular hash 
this is very nice and now if you don't have the system set up for the offenses to fire you can investigate any indicator of compromise not only with the Watson capabilities for searches but also the cognitive the reasoning the the way that Watson ties things up together it's I found that this is much much better than using any other type of uh, search uh, for indicators of compromise and, and the fact that it can go into my system and and mine what what my logs are and find whether I had been hit by that um, I think it's actually very powerful